Today I'm going to show you how you can integrate charge and payment processing for Salesforce and accounting seed ERP and accounting for Salesforce with just a single checkbox. So once you have both charge and, and accounting seed installed in your Salesforce org, you simply go to gateways in charge and, which is where you control the integration with your particular payment gateway, and you check this box called accounting seed integration, and then you click save. Now once I've saved that record, I can go to any account and run a sample transaction. So here there's a couple of orders I've set up on this account ahead of time. Uh, Chargent works from either orders, which is a custom object, uh, or opportunities or cases, but in this case this order, and I'm going to charge a transaction. And then I get the pop-up that says approved. And then the page refreshes. And I can scroll down in this order to my transaction records. And I see here's the transaction which I just ran. And so if I click on that transaction, here's the information I got back from the gateway. You can see here that it's created a cash receipt in accounting seed automatically. And what I can do with this cash receipt is I can copy that number. If I copy that number and put it up here, it will show me the cash receipt that was automatically created in accounting seed for this transaction that I ran from, from Chargent. If I go back to that account and view the transaction that I ran prior in that order, I can also refund this transaction and a corresponding cash disbursement will be created. So if I were to go into this transaction in Chargent and click refund, as soon as it's approved, I can go back here and see that not only do I have, now I have a charge transaction and also a refund and if I view the, the refund transaction, I will see that there's a cash disbursement automatically created in Accounting Seed for this refund. And if I enter the cash disbursement, copy and paste it in the top, I will see the cash disbursement that was created here with the reference number from the gateway, the cash disbursement name, and we, the integration automatically creates a cash disbursement batch as well that's named credit card refund. It's a single batch in Accounting Seed, a single batch for a single transaction. So in this way, you can see that we eliminate a lot of data entry and charges and refunds in charge and automatically create records in Accounting Seed.